Now, today, Lenovo is announcing their brand new holiday lineup here for 2022, just in time for IFA in Berlin. But I actually went to New York to see what they had to offer. Biggest announcement, I think, is the X1 Fold Gen 2, a follow-up to the world's first foldable PC. I went hands-on with it with an in-depth look from New York. And you're gonna see that in a video that is being released here today alongside this one. But Lenovo also announced a whole slew of other products that are really going to make a dent in the market. That's what we're gonna take a look at in this video. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is the Lenovo holiday lineup here for 2022. Coming up. As you said earlier, you're familiar with our uh, A3 glasses. Now those are uh, you know, designed and catered towards more enterprise customers, uh, a lot of custom solutions for like automotive industry, for manufacturing, for medical industries, uh, education. Now the Lenovo glasses T1 uh, are, uh, are glasses that are geared towards consumers, right? So it's got a micro LED display. It's able to produce what we call 75% of retinal resolution. So, you know, no pixel peeping. You're not gonna be able to see any pixels you know, at 95, 97% retinal resolution. So it's got, uh, because it's OLED, it's got great, great, great contrast, great colors, and uh, it'll work with Android, uh, your, your iPhones, Mac OS, or Windows PCs. Essentially, you plug it in through the USB cable here. It makes it very nice and easy, quick setup. Um, it's got some built-in software um, to be able to you know, augment your display on your PC or your, or your phone. I'll give you a little demo here mm -hmm. in a bit, but, but it's got 60 hertz refresh rate. Essentially, it's very customizable. It has um, these uh, adjustable um, uh, arms on, on, on the glasses. We have some clips to make the temples a little bit more comfortable. We have um, these prescri prescription um, fit um, glasses here. So if you if you naturally have to wear prescription glasses, uh, those can be customized. We have no customizable nose pieces. So uh, overall, generally very customizable, but the idea and the use case of this is basically, the reality is we carry this around with us everywhere we go, right? Mm -hmm. um, now, <clears throat> what if um, you could augment this display into a bigger display and also a private display where no one can look over your shoulder and see what you're doing? Uh, that's what I was doing on the plane here <laughs> as I was coming to these meetings looking at documents about all the new products, you know, refreshing myself on, on these products. Uh, and it would have been really nice to just have a private display that only I could see and read my documents. Um, but also, it's very useful for, say, if you want to do gaming, um, uh, just to have a larger display real estate in front of you um, to do that, to view that content. Um, this has some built-in speakers, but of course you can also use Bluetooth head headsets if you want through your device. Um, and yeah, um, makes it for very useful um, device and the next generation of you know, augmented reality. We've you know, obviously we've had a few generations of this product already. Um, it's a, a high-end, uh, mm -hmm. uh, almost workstation class uh, laptop, part of our ThinkBook family. It's got a 16-inch panel, 16 by 10 aspect ratio, um, 2.5K resolution on the display. It's up to a Ryzen 9 6000 series mm -hmm. processor, up to RTX 3060 graphics nice. card. That's very so, nice. It's fairly fully decked out, and it's still very thin. Uh, it's got a few few set of uh, special specialty cameras there, mm -hmm. IR mm -hmm. uh, cameras. Uh, on the deck here, you see the up firing speakers, the full size keyboard uh, with a numpad. So, if you're a content creator, if you are a student, uh, or anyone even who wants maybe some light gaming, this product will build off of that for you. Uh, we've, you know. All the design flourishes on this, uh, similar to what you see on even some of our gaming laptops yep. with these little ports that face off. And the back. ports are on the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can turn it. That'd be mm -hmm. great. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, that's yes. great. Oh, that's yeah. A good, yeah. 
I love that. I like when they're on the back. Yeah. Out of the way. It keeps your desk clean. Clean. Uh, it's got a full size SD yeah, card reader. Yeah, card I reader. like so, that. That's so, great for the creator. Yeah, yeah. Very geared towards yeah. the content creators. Yeah. Uh, the first here is our Y32P, our highest end gaming monitor. Uh, You'll notice we've changed the design up quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, it follows a lot of our um, design language along um, with our Legion products. So very good to match a lot of those Legion products. And then I wanted to show you something here. <laughs> it's got a funny little unique built-in uh, phone stand there. That's great. So yeah. So will it charge it there? Or? It won't charge it. No, but it's a nice little. It, it's just a nice little addition. I, like, I kind of so, like that. Yeah, it's convenient. Yeah. It's very convenient. Yeah. Uh, all the cable management flows through the stand here to the back. It keeps your desk clean. Mm -hmm. It's got a 4K resolution, 31.5 uh, inch uh, display. That's nice. 144 hertz, 99% of surgery color gamut. So uh, the full gamut of features. Um, but we've added a few other things this year. Mm -hmm. uh, new this year is an ambient light sensor. Oh, nice. Okay. So if you uh, are either playing games in the dark <laughs> or during the day, um, the display can be automatically adjust to kind of ease the, the strain on your eyes. And then uh, one thing you've you'll probably be able to pick up is uh, this ambient lighting in the back. Now we don't have it, uh, the final software, but uh, these, this lighting is... I can see it. Yeah, yep. 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 this lighting is smart lighting. Okay. So essentially with our Lenovo Artery software, we can adjust it. It'll pick up um, on audio cues from your PC or uh, keyboard and mouse That's movements. Kind of cool. yeah. So that's a really nice touch that kind of matches some of the aesthetics of our, um, our Legion uh, products. Um, port wise, full array of ports in the back for display out. It's got a built in KVM. So, and, and the HDMI is uh, upgraded now to 2.1. And 2.1 allows you to connect to the latest consoles, mm -hmm. like the Xbox uh, Series X mm -hmm. and the PS5. So, with that, you can use this as your kind of all in one solution for your gaming needs. So, plug in your PC, plug in your consoles, switch between the two. Uh, very handy. Right. So yeah, so those are the new features of the Y32P, similar to the 30, Y32P that we didn't bring in here, but we do have our wide version of the T34W. The T34W has a 1500R radius, so it gives you some of the best uh, viewing angles as you're sitting at your desk. Now, they obviously think vision monitors are um, geared towards enterprise and commercial um, mm -hmm. customers, but we've changed a lot of the design of the kicks of the uh, stand. Again, it has a little... Um, Put your phone there. Yep, phone, mm -hmm. phone stand. Mm -hmm. It has the cable like management in the back. Um, one thing that I wanted to show you on, on and it's on this monitor as well, okay. but our new uh, joystick controls. Oh, yeah, that's great. And of course, it's red. Yep, it's red on that one. Blue on the gaming monitor, but essentially the joystick control gives you um, one, a clean front interface. So there's no... Um, buttons on the front of the monitor to you know, clutter things up so it gives you a nice little clean clean design but then it also makes it for uh, adjusting uh, all your monitor settings very convenient uh, just through that little joystick it's a camera and a sound bar that we uh, offer with our monitors our high-end higher end thing vision monitors what that allows you to do is if you're an um, enterprise customer or a commercial customer or you know, just a general consumer and you want a full solution at your desk, uh, camera, speakers, uh, docking solution, it's all in one. So uh, plug in that one single USB-C cable um, and you get full ethernet support, you get um, power pass through, uh, you power delivery, uh, display, and then once you pop in the uh, VOIP stack, you also get your camera and sound bar. And the camera goes up here? Like, yep, yep. Uh, it, it plugs in right here. Gotcha. Uh, yep. And we, we launched um, that one right at CES. So that, I think I remember that, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one of our most affordable monitors is $179. Can't go wrong so, with that. Can't go wrong with that. FHD uh, resolution, 24-inch uh, uh, size. Uh, it's got HDMI um, and 
guess what? VGA. Oh, <laughs> you'd be so, surprised. Yeah. So if you have, if you have an, uh, an, an older. Older, older device and right. you're like, hey, I need a new monitor, my device still works, but it only has VGA. It makes sense. Then it this, makes sense. You know, this is a product that we're like, like hey, you know, it might you know be useful for you still. I think um, companies will buy these in bulk also. Yeah. Yep. Like, yeah, these are these put, are put them in a cubicle yeah, or something. Yeah, really designed for um, mm -hmm. you know affordability, small businesses who can't afford, say, like some sure. higher end think vision monitors, but still offer you know mm -hmm. all the you know, features that you need. These are Android tablets, mm -hmm. of, of course. Um, for the P11, what we've done is we've uh, increased the screen size, but it's just a hair from 11.2 to 11.5. Uh, resolution's a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a 120 hertz uh, refresh rate on it, so very smooth experience as far as scrolling, navigating, playing games, whatever you need to do. Um, so uh, a lot of upgrades as far as spec-wise, right? The main thing here is what we're offering is uh, these new uh, design as well as the um, accessories that we're offering, offering with it. We have this keyboard pack, um, and then we also have one that's just simply a uh, c cover. Like an origami style, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and these come optional with a pin. This is our active pin too. Mm -hmm. um, the cool thing about the, the stand is now the uh, the pin holder is kind of hidden oh, within I like the stand. That. That's great. That's products. a nice little. Uh, yeah. yeah, and then you just slide it in. That's a clever. Uh, like solution that. yeah i like yeah. that yeah so you know if you don't have the pin or you don't want to carry the pin around you just hide it away hide yeah. it away and it's not this you know thing that's yeah. just flapping around i like that. Yeah. that and it looks nicer when if you don't have it on there yeah. it's a nice cleaner look yeah, it's yeah. just a nice little aesthetic touch yeah. to uh -huh. uh, the design of that um some other things that we've done uh, on this product is um it's got still it has the uh, four speakers on the side here um, the keyboard actually feels really good mm -hmm. even for a small keyboard. It's a 1.3 millimeter key travel. And then performance wise, we have upped the performance. So I would say we're estimating about, you know, 50% 50 perform 50 better performance on the uh, Tab P11 Gen 2. So we've upped the performance on it. Battery life should be great. Um, it's got a few cameras, 13 megapixel rear, rear camera, as well as a um, 8 megapixel front camera. Okay, yeah. nice. And then, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that's the Tab P11. And then moving on to the Tab P11 Pro, what you get essentially is a similar device, but with um, higher performance. Mm -hmm. So this one should have double the performance of last oh, year. Oh, yeah, it's got a MediaTek uh, Campagno. Yeah, yeah the, the Campagno, the right. high, this is one of the higher end MediaTek yep. processors. Uh -huh. um, and then um, the other thing that we're offering on both these products uh, is uh, two OS upgrades. So we're promising three years of security oh, that's good. updates and two OS upgrades at least. So okay, that's good those to know. They'll start off with Android 12 and um, they'll move up from there. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Nice. So those are the. The, the neat things about this 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 product itself it's a little bit different in that it has a few other features that I want to point out um, the speakers are JBL now they're uh, more premium mm -hmm. branded speakers the other thing on this product is that the display is OLED yeah I, I, I kind of mm -hmm. noticed that mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's nice yeah so it's an OLED display and that's a uh, very pretty it's a uh, IPS. IPS okay mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's very, yeah, I can see the darker, the mm -hmm. deeper. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, darker blacks. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's an OLED display. So some of the more premium features are that. Um, and again, it comes with the optional keyboard pack mm -hmm. uh, for productivity. Uh, we also have obviously built in uh, productivity modes and whatnot into the uh, device. Um, the last little thing here that's neat. So this is our um, Lenovo Precision Pin 3. Okay. Um, still got, has uh, 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity. Now, the neat thing about this product, or both these products, is uh, we're bundling what we call um, a free um, subscription to uh, Nebo. So here we have our new IdeaPad 5i Chromebook. It's a new size for us, 16-inch. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's our first 16-inch um, Chromebook. Mm -hmm. It's got up to a 2.5K um, resolution display has 120 hertz uh, refresh rate i believe That's this nice. i believe this one's just fhd it's the uh, first chromebook i think with a high refresh rate mm -hmm. now of course 
most of us are used to high refresh rates now on mm-hmm. our phones yeah. and other devices. Right. Makes sense. Yeah, 120 hertz is going to make uh, scrolling through your mm-hmm. website, through your email, very um, fluid, mm-hmm. uh, very pleasant to, to um, view. And then... Um, the speakers are up firing speakers. Again, you have the full sized uh, keyboard mm-hmm. with a number pad. Um, and generally, just a really good uh, high, higher end Chromebook. And you're not the highest end Chromebook you mm-hmm. can get, but a higher end Chromebook that's very useful for uh, whether you're working from home. For you know, for your mm-hmm. for your kids, it's pretty. Uh, um, what is going to be the price point on this? So I believe it's three forty nine. Let me double check. Three forty nine. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, I believe it's starting at. Th- and you're getting that with, with starting, so you may yeah. not get that display. Yeah. I would imagine, yeah. right? For the FHD display, yeah. and then it goes up from there. The two point five K one hundred and twenty hertz. <clears throat> yeah, wow. that'll be a little bit more pricey. Yeah, but it's still going to probably be very you know mm-hmm. reasonable when you mm-hmm. consider what you're getting. Mm-hmm. Help desks enterprise customers essentially a solution for um, these type of customers who need something that's very um, deployable easy to deploy manageable right that's the kind of the the value behind chrome is uh, simply logging with your credentials and up and running oh you're up and running sure Um, no you know very limited um you know Tech support mm-hmm. needed, uh, so very very easy to manage as from a from an enterprise uh, uh, experience. So, what do you think about Lenovo's holiday lineup here for 2022? Very impressive stuff. I'm especially excited for the X1 Fold Gen 2. Again, a separate video link in the description below. I got a nice in depth look at it. I also like the other offerings Lenovo showed off, especially the ThinkBook 16P Gen 3, which I actually have in the studio. A full review of that is coming this week, hopefully, or maybe the week after, depending on how much I get done. But very exciting stuff because that really checks a lot of the boxes. I like the glasses they offered. I like a lot of the different monitors, the tablets. It's all there. Good stuff from Lenovo. Can't wait to get review units into the studio. So please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.